हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु अरोड़ा फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन अ मॉड्यूल फिजियोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इन इंडिया फ्रॉम द पेपर अप्लाइड एंथ्रोपोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी लुक इन द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल दे आर टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजियोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड टू नो अबाउट इट्स सब्जेक्ट मैटर secondly to gain insights about the area of study of physiological anthropology to know about the trends of physiological anthropology in india to get familiarized with the studies done in india until present presently it is a well known fact that anthropology is the only specialization in the pool of academic disciplines that report human beings in relationship with other organisms from both biological and socio cultural perspectives anthropology acts as a viable and appropriate intellectual forum for looking at a phenomenon be it in form of an ailment a custom or behavior from a bio cultural or a bio behavioral approach anthropology has united different disciplines into a meaningful network of knowledge for human society this has extended the horizons of anthropology by applying anthropological research and analysis into action and development programs anthropology has been associated with various sciences and has not lost its connection with any of them rather it has incorporated all or part of them into its own subject matter and often employs their techniques as well anthropology has an orientation set of research styles and methods that give it a distinguished position within the social sciences this anthropological orientation is ethnographic by nature concerned with meanings rather than measurements with everyday life of communities rather than formal abstractions <coughs> field work methodology participant observation empirical studies and micro level analysis focus on complex human relationships and social bonding with the aim of highlighting the multitude factors underlying such behavior patterns objectivity and the ability to relate to cultural patterns of different populations or ethnic groups in particular make anthropology unique as a discipline Applied anthropology is the application of anthropological theory and knowledge to purpose solutions to problems that exist in various facets of human course of life and action. Applied anthropology brings into play anthropological techniques to areas not only of social concern and to the growth and development of society but also of biological aspects of human. the immediate biological response to any stress environmental or psychological is physiological in nature which often is reversible once the stress is removed now let's talk about physiology what physiology is what it does etc actually physiology is a branch of biology which deals with functioning and activities inclusive of all physical and chemical processes of living organisms and their parts physiology extends its knowledge from the molecular and cellular level of uh, to tissue organ and whole system level it relates to different components of our body the functioning of organs and organ systems how they work within the body to respond to challenges how they all interact to make life possible physiology has something to say about each and every aspect of life whereby their integrated approach makes the physiologists an invaluable contributor in studies and research works ranging from genetics to psychology under its applied aspect physiology considers functioning and malfunctioning of parts of human body with reference to health and diseases in areas relating to medicine problems of animals plants and microbial performances and their responses leading to harmful effects over the environment under the areas relating to ecology 
these days in science there is a trend of looking downwards rather than upwards at molecular mechanisms seeking for the often less tractable problems posed by a system as a whole human physiology is no exception to this expanding knowledge about how the molecules translate into function and malfunction in an organism as a whole when observed carefully one can feel physiological understanding is present behind every major medical breakthrough it provides a bridge between scientific discoveries and their application in medical science physiology is split into many disciplines covering topics such as exercise adaptation evolution and defense broadly the systems studied under physiology are circulatory system which includes the heart blood vessels blood and its properties along with of blood circulation functioning while healthy and when sick digestive system that chalk out the movement of food and nutrition from mouth to anus which includes the study of spleen liver and pancreas conversion of food into fuel and its final exit from the body endocrine system which is the study of endocrine hormones that transfer signals throughout the organism helping it to get responded in return major endocrine endocrine glands pituitary thyroid adrenals pancreas parathyroids and gonads under major focus but nearly all organs release endocrine hormones immune system that deals with the body's natural defense system that comprises of white blood cells thymus and lymph systems a complex arrangement of receptors and molecules that is antibodies and cytokines combine to protect the host from attacks by pathogens integumentary system that takes into consideration skin hair nails sweat glands and sebaceous glands musculoskeletal system includes skeleton muscles tendons ligaments cartilage bone marrow and check how bones store calcium and phosphate nervous system focuses on the central nervous system that is brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system study of nervous system includes research related to senses memory emotion movement and thought renal or urinary system including kidneys ureters bladder and urethra also checks removal of water from blood production of urine that carries waste away reproductive system consisting of the gonads and sex organs also includes investigation of the way a fetus is created and nurtured for 9 months respiratory system that consists of nose nasopharynx trachea and lungs also includes the study of mechanism that brings in oxygen and expels carbon dioxide and water apart from the study of all these systems and mechanisms physiology is seen contributing to the development of various sub disciplines under it as cell physiology which studies the way cells work and interact mostly being concentrated on membrane transport and neuron transmission mechanism system physiology which focuses on the computational and mathematical modeling of complex biological systems it describes the way individual cells or components of a system works over a certain converge to respond as a whole investigation of metabolic networks and cell signaling procedures are undertaken under this field evolutionary physiology studies the way systems or part of systems have adapted and changed over multiple generations research topics in this field cover a lot of ground including the role of behavior in evolution sexual selection and physiological changes in relation to geographic variation defense physiology traces changes that occur as a reaction to a potential threat such as preparation for the fight or flight response 
exercise physiology which is the study of physiology of physical exercise which include includes research into bioenergetics biochemistry cardiopulmonary function biomechanics hematology skeletal muscle physiology neuroendocrine function and nervous system function physiology focuses over functioning rather than structure comprehensive functional specializations in the form of regulation transport metabolism and information transfer have gained importance over structural studies of organ systems it is so because analysis of an organ system generally involves studies at cellular or molecular level and functional aspect of studies accommodates each studies better than organ system approach early in the 20th century much stress was laid on cells as function unit and thus maintaining a view that all physiology is essentially cell physiology for which all teaching should be pivoted around the properties of cell later to which similar emphasis was made at a new and more fundamental level the molecules the constituents of cell however now physiology encompasses molecules cell organs and different types of animals including humans results from such studies not only enhance grounds for human physiology but simultaneously also generate new dilemmas that extend to evolution and ecology physiological anthropology as a sub branch of anthropology overlaps with both physiology and anthropology in terms of tools and techniques used and methodology employed exploration and investigation of the functioning of human body assessing human adaptability to the environment and considering the socio biological consequences over human adaptation to current environment are subject matter of physiological anthropology diversity in environmental adaptability and its mechanisms considering techno adaptability are investigated from the prospect of physiological polytypism whole body coordination and functional potentiality the three major keywords in physiological anthropological research diversity arises not only as an inherent component but also occurs as a consequence of adaptations taking place over a lifetime contributing to the evolution of a species such adaptability phenomenon are elucidated by various ecological rules explaining thermal adaptability allen's rule states that certain extremities arms legs ears nose of animal are comparatively shorter in colder parts than those living in warmer regions similarly bregman's rule also conveys that species occupying colder regions tend to have smaller body size and smaller surface area for least dissipation of heat in cold environment while those living in warmer regions have larger bodies and surface areas enabling enough heat dissipation in hot environment glogger's rule claimed that darker skin pigment increases in skin with increase in the environmental temperature another rule popular as thomson buxton rule argues that organisms living in hot and humid environment tend to have short and broad nose as compared to those living in colder areas having long and narrow nose thermal adaptability and altitude compliance reviewed with emphasis on functional potentiality is another field of interest of physiological anthropology bipedalism a key adaptation enabling homo sapiens to walk and maintain an upright posture might lead to the need for having increased blood pressure to pump blood to the height of brain while the venous return to heart ten- tends to decrease against gravitational stress that is actually maintained through orthostatic cardiovascular response many studies have been done in physiological anthropology with the aim of investigating circulatory dynamics and orthostatic responses to postural change very recently work on genetic adaptations has also gained 
an important place in subject matter of this applied anthropological discipline. Population based data collection is carried using various anthropological techniques beginning with the chief method of intensive field work which then consists of questionnaires, interview, genealogy, family history, anthropometry, spirometry, physiological markers, assessment, fitness test, molecular methods, etc. Participants over whom the research studies are carried out are given counseling and suggestions from time to time and sometimes even need-based interventions are also made to guide and aware them about the situation. Elaborating on the physiological aspect of work, trend and status of research in India, vast expense of diversity has been witnessed depending upon the type of study and investigation taken over since the end of 20th century until present day. Different themes such as anthropometry, ob obesity, body composition, secular trends, nutritional status, reproductive health, maternal health and care have always been instrumental part of physiological anthropology research in India. However, as late as a decade before or so, stretch of exploration in physiological anthropology had started considering non-communicable disorders other than obesity such as hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes and many more too. Assessing lifestyle patterns in terms of stress and physical activity also took an important place in physiological anthropology. Adaptation and acclimatization studies and sports physiology and kinanthropometry are also taken over under its umbrella. Gerontology and aging processes are also being considered under the subject matter of physiological anthropology. Numerous aspects related to metabolic syndrome, hematology, cardiovascular performance and respiratory performance form significant subdivision of physiological anthropology. Apart from this, physiological anthropology also gives way to research in defense field and ergonomics for designing and customizing different commodities from clothing, armrest, chairs and other machines or instruments of daily need. In a study done by Satwanti et al. in 1977, body density of Punjabi women belonging to the age group of 18 to 30 years was worked upon. Its correlation with a set of 16 selected body measurements was determined. 12 regression equations previously published in different research studies predicting body density from anthropometric data were also applied to the subjects chosen under this study. Several similar studies have been conducted by her. In 1978 and in 1980, in the former study, body density of 170 women of age group 16 to 24 years was found experimentally through water displacement technique. Using standard methods, 44 measurements were taken on each of them. Multiple regression equations were developed from linear regression using the predicted body density, body fat percentage and lean body mass from different body measurements. In the other work, body fat, body water, mineral bone density and cell solids were reported using densitometric and anthropometric techniques for 230 young India women. Comparative analysis was done for, those, for these components between young India men and women showing clear sexual dimorphism in fat and water content of body. In another study, 279 Lodha, female, Lodha males of West Bengal were considered from age ranging between 9 to 20 years. Anthropometric measurements were noted, rapid fitness index was calculated, pulse rate and blood pressure were recorded and grip strength was also measured. Correlation coefficient was worked upon on these variables and in the later research studies on 93 Indian sportsmen and athletes body density, extreme segment volume and total volume were recorded along with 15 other anthropometric measurements. The group mainly included runners, boxers, basketball players, football players, gymnasts, wrestlers, swimmers and a control group that consisted of soldiers not participating in such sports. 
in one of the studies secular growth trend was recorded for rang bhotias and raji uh, tribes of himalayas using stature whereby positive inclination was recorded for both the groups 4400 indian army personnel were chosen for a study that meant to evolve size rolls for tra uh, trousers and shirts for them linear regression technique was used to predict clothing measurement from body measurements age at menarche and menopause for three groups of bhotia females living at high altitude of north india were also recorded by kapoor and kapoor in 1986 tendency towards increase in age at menarche with an increase in altitude was also observed an early onset of menarche was found to be associated with early onset of menopause and similarly with a uh, late age of menarche in these studies for assessing structural and physiological changes with age among institutionalized and non institutionalized male a study was carried out consisting of 188 males belonging to the age group of 60 to 89 years eight anthropometric measurements and our physiological measurements were recorded for this purpose data was collected from the city of delhi in the year 2004 another study aimed at assessing the socio demographic factors and anthropometric variables in association with central adiposity and cardiovascular diseases was undertaken during the year 2010 among the gaddi tribal women it has been found that the study in the study that overweight and higher central obesity posed chances of predisposing a person to hypertension and prehypertension in order to assess the impact of aging on body composition in relation with differential contribution of skin fold thickness at various sites where uh, studies uh, study was carried out by kapoor et al in 2012 1571 tribal males from various parts of india in the age range of 20 to 99 years were categorized into two groups age 20 to 59 years and 60 to 99 years to meet the objective of the study body mass index grand mean thickness body fat percentage and muscle mass were computed and analyzed in relation to differential response of various skin fold thicknesses for the two age groups highly significant changes in skin fold thickness at various sites with aging proposed these skin fold measurements as excellent indicators of body composition dynamics in a study taken over by sina et al in 2010 relationship between menstrual cycle and adiposity measures was evaluated among 415 premenopausal women in the age range of 22 to 50 years which are residing in delhi adiposity was assessed through bmi and uh, BMI and by using bioelectric impedance method information regarding their physical activity pattern and menstrual cycle was also recorded and age at menarche was obtained through recall method dhal et al in 2012 conducted a cross sectional study with a sample size of 96 adult participants in which anthropometric measurements and blood pressure were noted using standardized techniques adiposity markers like BMI waist hip ratio waist height ratio and grand mean thickness were computed for gene uh, for genetic analysis blood was withdrawn and dna was extracted and other molecular techniques were also employed in a study aimed to evaluate the association of gender dependent expression of angiotensin converting enzyme gene polymorphism with adiposity markers and blood pressure 57 aunagas residing in delhi were included carried out by pongen et al in 2016 anthropometric measurements and blood pressure were recorded using standardized techniques adiposity indices like bmi waist hip ratio and waist height ratio were computed body fat percentage was assessed with bioelectrical impedance technique using body composition analyzer intravenous blood samples were withdrawn for the dna extraction and genotyping of ace gene polymorphism that was achieved through PCR reaction, which was achieved through polymerase chain reaction, hypertension and adiposity act as a key risk factor for developing. Hypertension and adiposity act as a key risk factor for developing cardiovascular diseases. So a study was performed by Kapoor et al. in the year two thousand twelve.
for reporting the prevalence of hypertension and its potential predictors among six tribal populations of India. For this, 910 adult males were considered. Anthropometric measurements, physiological measurements and socio-demographic characteristics were recorded. General and regional adiposity, muscle diameter and fat percentage were noted. Blood pressure and anthropometric measurements are significant for evaluating health among children, adolescents and adults with the aim to study blood pressure and body dimensions and to find out the prevalence of overweight or obesity and hypertension among adults. Dua et al. in the year 2014 conducted a research study. In this cross-sectional study, people belonging to Punjabi community residing in Roshanara area and Jaina building in Delhi for the past 20 years aged between 18 to 50 years were addressed. The study determined a significant positive correlation of BMI, fat percentage and blood pressure to both systolic blood pressure as well as diastolic blood pressure. Odds ratio revealed that overweight or obese subjects are more likely to have hypertension compared to those with normal BMI. Gupta and Kapoor in 2012 did a study to determine cutoffs of anthropometric markers to direct hypertension in an endogamous North Indian population. The cross-sectional study was carried out on 578 adult Agarwal Baniya subjects. Individual body weight, height, waist circumference, hip circumference, blood pressure were addressed. The cutoff points for detecting cardiovascular risk factors among this population were lower than the criteria described by the World Health Organization. BMI is a significant tool for computing nutritional status. Increased cases of obesity, hypertension and cardiovascular diseases mainly among adults in developing countries require documentation of relevant data for eliminating such health issues. In a much recent study by Dua et al. in 2016 aimed to determine the association of blood pressure, BMI and age among Punjabis of Gurmandi area of Delhi. 148 males and 140 females ranging in age from 18 to 50 years were included. It was observed that both systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure increased with age and the gender differences were statistically significant. Pre-hypertension was more among males as compared to females. The correlation between BMI and blood pressure was positive and statistically significant. In a study carried out by Tundan et al. in 2011 aimed to investigate prevalence of obesity and its covariates including age among adult khatri males and females consisting of 805 subjects between the age range of 18 to 71 years residing in Shah Jahanpur city of Uttar Pradesh. The study highlighted the trend of obesity in that population and also discussed in detail the factors that are responsible for it. Another cross-section study was conducted among 280 adult patients between uh, 20 to 40 years at different stages of TB treatment by Tungdim et al. in 2015. Data was gathered from various dot centers in Manipur, Northeast India. Anthropometric measurements and adiposity indices like BMI, waist hip ratio, waist height ratio and grand mean thickness were studied. Wasting of muscle mass and reduction in fat percentage because of chronic situation in TB and overall improvement in these components with anti-tubercular treatment was noticed. This study suggested that body composition is extremely useful in indicating temporal recovery of patients undergoing tuberculosis treatment and determine treatment outcome. Apart from the studies mentioned above, there exists a huge list of research and explorative works undertaken by anthropology under the subfield of physiological anthropology encompassing facets ranging from variation, adaptability to body functioning. Correlation between ecology and human beings is also well demonstrated in their different works. Also, the subject matter of physiological anthropology not just target the disease or disorder or acute or chronic communicable or non-communicable, infectious or non-infectious, lifestyle or metabolic, 
associated with children or adult or maternal care but also suggest possible measures or care or precautions to be taken in order to improve upon the condition as a sub branch of anthropology physiological anthropology studies human inhabiting any geographical place or condition that is highland highland plain tribes caste group urban or rural belonging to any age range or involved in any occupation or activity like non sports person or sports person now let us summarize what we have discussed till now anthropology has united different disciplines into a meaningful network of knowledge for human society this has extended the horizons of anthropology by applying anthropological research and analysis into action and development programs applied anthropology is the application of anthropological theory and knowledge to purpose solutions to problems that exist in various facets of human course of life and action applied anthropology brings into play anthropological techniques to areas not only of social concern and to the growth and development of society but also of biological aspects of human physiological anthropology as a sub branch of anthropology overlaps with both physiology and anthropology in terms of tools and techniques used and methodology employed exploration and investigation of the functioning of human body assessing human adaptability to the environment and considering the socio biological consequences over human adaptation to current environment are the subject matter of physiological anthropology different themes such as anthropometry obesity body composition secular trends nutritional status reproductive health maternal health and care have always been instrumental part of physiological anthropology research in india however as late as a decade before also stretch of exploration in physiological anthropology had started considering non communicable disorders other than obesity such as hypertension cardiovascular diseases diabetes and many more too assessing lifestyle patterns in terms of stress and physical activity also took an important place in physiological anthropology gerontology and aging processes are also being considered under the subject matter of physiological anthropology numerous aspects related to metabolic syndrome hematology cardiovascular performance and respiratory performance form significant subdivision of physiological anthropology apart from this physiological anthropology also gives way to research in defense field and ergonomics for designing and customizing different commodities from clothing arm rest chairs and other machines or instruments of daily need thank you